All right, it looks like we're live now. So it's some counter. Let's see why I don't see. Make sure I can see comments that roll in here. Just check and make sure this is working. Oh, there, it seems like it's working. Seems like jo people are joining in. Let me just make sure it's working. All right, I think we're live. All right, for everyone just joining, thank you. My name is Joel Fetter, Interactive Content Manager here at Motor Authority. Can you hear me all right? Make sure if you can hear me, make sure I throw a comment in there. I don't see any comments coming. Make sure you can hear me. Someone say something. Someone make a comment. You can hear me. Hello, Carlos from Miami. Carlos, welcome. Can you guys hear me? All right, you can hear me. Great. So, I'm not on the road today. We are here in my home office, and uh, we are going to do something fun because it's Wednesday. We're going to build a McLaren 720S. And you're thinking, home office, how are we going to build a McLaren? Don't worry, I got you covered. So, hello, David from Clinton. Joey, welcome. Alex, welcome. Lupe, welcome. If I butcher your name, I apologize. So, we're going to have fun. Stick around. Uh, I'm going to read the comments as I go. This will be fun. So right here, we have a package that arrived from McLaren. FedEx. Hello from India. Hello, Adida. So, McLaren. And uh, we'll open it up. Hello, Joel. Since the unveiling of McLaren 720S at the Geneva Motor Show. Ask a lot about when we can get our hands on one, blah, blah, blah. The wait's almost over, uh, but now we can let the anticipation build with the newest member of the Super Series family in Lego form. It's not the real deal, but it's the next best thing. It only costs 0.00005% of the full car. It's a value. So they're hoping this holds us over till the actual car. Hannah, welcome. My sister's here. Eric, thanks for joining us. So Claren sent me a nice little letter. They know we all want our hands on the 720S. Next best thing, Legos. So, we're going to build a Lego McLaren right here. Ernest, Carlos, Alex, Hannah, Alex. Hey, my sister Hannah Fetter. What's up? Glad you could join us. So, we're going to build this 720S Lego live with you. Um, it's probably not going to take five minutes. Not sure how long it's going to take. It's going to be an adventure. It's going to be a catastrophe. We'll see. Um, but it could be fun. Uh, we can talk about anything you want while we're doing it. Uh, I'm sure the more we talk, the longer it's going to take. But, you know, if you've been on Motor Authority's homepage today, pull that up for you. Not that I can pull it up on screen, but I can pull it up on my other screen right here. Um, this is McLaren news today, obviously, with uh, the new Super Series, the 570S Spider. Lost his top, so we got Spider on there. It's coming to Goodwood. Type R, Honda Civic Type R first drive. So, Aaron Cole's here. Welcome. Life's here. Everyone working hard today. This is uh, Wednesday's Motor Authority. So first we gotta open the box. I'm gonna rip this. Alright, so just so you know what this is saying, by the way. Ages 7 to 14, barely made the cutoff. Uh, I've got 161 pieces. How long could it take? Famous last words. Um, and it's a building toy. So, uh, from the Speed Champions collection. So, three bags. I'm going to guess this is the chassis. It's probably not carbon fiber. Chris Lonsberry, you're, <laughs> you're right. It's Legos. I did not invite you. Very mean. Ooh, stickers. Stickers. What else we got? So it looks like, looks like we have two different wheel options here. Maybe we'll take a vote. Matt Heist has joined us. Welcome. It's great to see you. So, two different wheel options. We're going to get back to this. We're going to probably let you guys choose. Wheel options. Okay, box is empty. No more here. Put that aside. So, this is a pretty thick little booklet we got going on here. That's, this, is, this is serious. How many pages is this? Hang on, some of this is ads. Here's a parts list. 
parts list. Definitely, Carlos, I agree. We need some stickers on this bad boy. We got them. Some Sam advertisements. Okay, so this is legitimately 54 pages long. That's how, how many pages it is for steps to build this. So, um, Carlos, a little off. 0.0005% of the actual purchase price of this car. Victor, welcome. Chris, welcome. Appreciate everyone joining us. Chris Mitchell's here. Always good to see people like you. This is going to be an adventure. So let's. So I think this little man is supposed to be me. I'm not wearing green today, but this is this is supposed to be me building the McLaren. So, um, first steps looks like we're going to build the little man. We're going to build our racer, but I'm not sure. There's his head. There's his body. Oh, they got everything in different packages. The body. Do I need my glasses? I got my contacts in. I wear glasses, but I got my contacts in. So they got the small pieces and the big pieces. Of course, the body's in the big pieces and the body the head's in the small pieces. So we're going to have to open all these up. Uh, and then the hands are in this thing. This is going to get messy. We better not lose anything. It actually didn't come with spare parts. Hello from Malaysia. Thank you for joining us, Vimalan. Hope I didn't butcher that. I tried. Tried. You made the Ferrari with your boys, German? And uh, how long did it take you? Which Ferrari one? Did you do the La Ferrari? They got a couple different Ferraris in this, this uh, collection now. So bag one is open. Maybe we'll keep these bags separate, huh? My desk is light, colored wood, as you can see in the background. So it should be easy to see most of these as they go. This is the big one. Let's just keep these separate. There's that one. Whoop! Starting to run into each other, of course. Trash over here. So, being, well, I'll warn you, being this is my home office, naturally, uh, kids went down for a nap. Got two kids. So, they went down for a nap, but depending how long this takes, we might get a guest appearance. So, we'll see. Bento lunch trays work better for sorting pieces. Chris, this is amateur hour, man. McLaren sent me a McLaren. Lego. This is amateur hour. I don't have I don't have time to build Legos usually. Wendy, thanks for joining. It takes about 20 minutes to build. I will guarantee you this is gonna take me more than 20 minutes to build. A, like Chris said, amateur hour. B, I'm very distracted right now. This is fun, but it's distracting. And uh, C, um, amateur hour. So, we're going to build the little human. Uh, got the helmet, got the hair, where's the body? Got the body, hands are attached to the body, you got to find the legs. Here's the head, hands are attached. Where are your legs, little man? See, aren't we already having fun? Like I said, this could be a disaster. Here's the helmet visor, here's the wrench. A little wrench for the guy. Missing the pants. Dude needs pants. Pants. You already lose a piece. You could not have already lost a piece. Come on. Found the pants. Found the pants. All right. More the merrier. Right. This is all. This is fun. What's the new? What? It, what's that? A new rap line? Uh, McLaren sent me McLaren Lego. Right, so all right, let's build the little dude. So we put the body on the legs, like this. Now he's whole. Then we're gonna put the head on. Hey, he says McLaren. And he's got a little McLaren logo on there. It's pretty cute. Sort them by colored pieces. So right now I have them sorted by the bags that came in. So it's kind of like small, medium, large pieces. I kind of already committed to this. I don't know. Probably not a bad idea to sort them by colors. Here's the dude. Here's his, uh oh. Uh oh. You gotta choose between the hair and the helmet. You can't wear both at once. Do we think hair or helmet? I'm thinking helmet because this is a McLaren and he's, you know, sporty. Helmet or hair? Helmet or hair? While you make a decision, I'm gonna put a wrench in his hand. I got one vote for helmet. I mean, I'm voting helmet. There's two, three, 
Hel- uh, you, since this seems to be helmet, so we're going to build the helmet. Really glad we have this talk. See, this is fun. You guys are helping me. Helmet's in one piece. Got the visor on there. Bam. Khaki wearing. Racer dude. Step one, complete. Sorry, Chris Mitchell. You are voted. You're off the island. It's helmet. But we'll keep the hair for later. Keep that hair in spare parts bin. Okay. Little dude is complete. We'll put him down here. He's on my computer. All right. Moving on. We're already on page four. We only have 50 more to go. Kara joined. Welcome, Kara. Thanks for joining. Okay. I think we're building some sort of the base. I don't want to work as talking about something. Um, base. So, page step one. Got the base. So we got this guy. This looks complicated. Okay. We need to take two elbow looking things. Gotta find them. Whoever suggested I sort this by color might have been onto something, if I'm honest. That might have been a smart suggestion. We might go that route. But for now, um, we're gonna go this. Gotta find the pieces. See, this is the fun part. You guys get to watch me struggle as I find the pieces. That's not the right piece. There are only so many black pieces, right? Color idea might not have been a bad idea. So I'm guessing we're not missing pieces. Oh, see, here's the issue. It says it's black here, but they're gray. They're gray. Uh, what is y'all people's favorite McLarens? McLarens or Ferraris? Welcome, Alex. Um, I, I don't know if that question from uh, Chris is, regarding McLarens or Ferraris is for us or for everyone else joining us. Um, I, I'm not sure that we're going to say that we have a favorite because um, we, like, we like both Ferraris and McLarens. Tegan, welcome. Thanks for joining. We here like McLarens and Ferraris. Um, we're an equal supercar opportunity uh, as far as that goes. So, uh, dog just got here. So that's why you hear the, the bell. Uh, McLarens and Ferraris are both great. A little different execution. Uh, last, uh, I, love, I did the video road test for us on the F4, uh, 488. Wasn't a 430. 458. I did our road test on the 458. Father's Day weekend one year. That was a lot of fun. Great car. Just so direct in the steering. Um, but we like McLarens too. So it's kind of what's better, McLaren or Ferrari? Like you're going wrong. Um, but since we're building a McLaren right now, I have a McLaren in my hand. I don't have a Ferrari in my hand, so there's that. Uh, so now we need to take two of these corner pieces. I'm really still not sure what we're building yet, but as far as hi, welcome, thanks for joining. So we're gonna do this. I'm gonna show you what I did here in a second. Snap it together. We're building a base of some sort. Okay, so here's where we're at. Not quite sure. It doesn't label what we're building at each step, so this is what we got. It's total one, two, six, five pieces. So there's that. Uh, thank you again for everyone joining us. This is fun, right? This is fun. You can keep talking, by the way, about it, whatever you want. Ask me questions. I'm watching the comments. All right. Now the next step, step five. We're on page six for those keeping track, and there is a total of 54 pages. The picture in Hippercorn tells you what you're building. Hey, Wendy knows what's up. So it looks like, actually it looks like this is some kind of gamer console. I'm not really sure. This is apparently what we just built, or what we're going with right here. That's what we're building right now. I like how Ferrari's looking sound. Here, I'll, I'm going to mute Skype. I'm going to quit Skype so you guys don't have to hear that going. Skype is gone. You won't hear the ding, ding, ding all anymore. So anyone that works with me can talk amongst themselves. What else we got going on? Remember to press down firm on the pieces. Trust me, I learned the hard way. There we go. So, uh, Mason brings up a point about sound. McLaren's, he says McLaren have a better sound. Mark, welcome. Thanks for joining us. 
Um, McLaren's, in my opinion, McLaren's a little, I don't want to call them quieter. I would call them more muted. More muted. They sound a little more mean on startup and at full throttle, but they're a little more muted. Uh, muted. Uh, Ferraris have a little more soul. They're, they're definitely louder. Definitely louder, um, in my experience. But um, I would say Ferraris have a little more soul. All right. So we're now on to, it looks like we're building something else. So we got to get a seat. We have a seat that we're getting, a bench. That's not it. We're looking for a, a bench-looking seat thing. The other thing is, and I'm noticing this, and again, I haven't built Lego since I was a little kid. So, um, uh, this is, you know, it's been a minute. Um, these aren't to scale, so, you know, I, 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 this little piece is probably a lot tinier than it looks. Um, Mason brings up a point. Hypercars are silent. The hypercars are, are usually hybrids at the moment, so they're, they're, they're pretty silent. Um, supercars are definitely not silent. Most supercars aren't hybrids yet. And, uh, hypercars, while hybrids, can get quite loud when you get on them and you've got the engine running, and it's not in, what do you want to call it, silent or eco or whatever mode. Okay, we, I know we have the part, right? But it's just struggling to find it. It's the tiny part. The little black part, although it could be gray for all I know, based on what we've been experiencing so far. Ah, found it. It's gray. See, I gotta stop looking for black parts. Um, only in London City Center. Can you buy the book here in Texas? Not sure what book you're talking about, Robert. Are you building for yourself or a kid? <laughs> That's a great question. Uh, my kids are three and one, so I'm sure that they're going to want to look at this, uh, but it's a little small in terms of parts for them to get to play with. And um, just break it. They break everything. They're one and three. Literally, they break everything. Very destructive. If you don't have kids, destructive, costly, love being a dad. All right, so we put a seat in here. That's what that is in there. Try a GTR and gives you the feels, whereas you're driving out the LA, you get the feels of a hair dryer. Can't try it. LFA is one of the best sounding cars ever made. That V8, uh, uh, I'm sorry, V10 uh, was, you know, obviously helped design, not design, but the sound was tuned by Yamaha. So good, so good. In fact, that's my ringtone still. So yes, Robert, myself, destroyer fetters, yeah. All right, so we need, uh, the next part is a, this thing, whatever this is, this is the next part. Yes, V10. A lot going on here. There's the hair again. Bring that back. Because uh, mine lasted two minutes. No, Mace, no offense. No time taken. Mine lasted two minutes. And that is why, yours lasting two minutes is why this is probably going to sit and not be touched by the kids. Cody, welcome. Thanks for having you. Thanks for joining. All right, so now we're looking for this. This thing. Oh, we got a sub-step. A sub-step. A step of the step. We need the stickers. Stickers are being busted out already. Cody, it's never a bad time to come in. All right, so we're going to do the McLaren sticker, apparently. That one right there. I get one shot at this. Got to get it straight. Concentration, man. It's unreal. Stickers do add horsepower. Things can be so fast with the stickers. This is straightish. Straightish. All right. Two, 2015 Charger Shield. And I upgraded for how can I go with a Camaro Zero One and a safety Acura? Well, Mason's asking a great question. Uh, he's basically, Cody, there's never pressure. Come on, we're building a Lego. We're having a conversation. Um, Mason actually asked a great question that we can talk about. Uh, he's got 2015 Charger SHLD, and I'm, I'm, not, I'm not sure what that is, honestly. Um, I'm guessing it was a typo, no offense. Uh, but he wants to know if you should upgrade for Hellcat or go Camaro Zero One or save up for the Acura. 
I'm not sure which Acura we would be saving up for in this scenario based on what you just asked. Because um, there's no real comparable Acura in that setup. But uh, I can talk to uh, Hellcat versus Camaro Zero One, and um, it's real simple. Camaro Zero One is two door coupe, flat out. Charger Hellcat is a four door sedan. So you've got to make a choice. You know, practicality, right? If you need four doors, um, if you've got kids, I got two kids in car seats. Charger Hellcat, there's, there's almost nothing that compares with it because of the fact I can put two kids with a car seat in it. I could put stroller or what else? Whatever else you need. Um, so Charger Hellcat's far more practical, but of course, um, bigger car, a little sloppier handling, comparatively speaking, to the new Camaro ZL1. So if you want something, and neither of these cars are track stars. I, I wouldn't want to take either one of these tracks. And of course, neither of them have more horsepower than you ever could need. So, um, in my scenario, I would choose the Hellcat simply because of the fact that it has four doors. And I got two kids that are in car seats. Um, but even the Camaro SS is just... The Camaro platform, the Alpha platform, is just so good that uh, that's not a bad choice either. So I think you need to talk to yourself about the practicality and what you're going to use it for, or who you're going to need to haul and all that, and then go from there. That would be my advice to you. There is no right or wrong answer here. Not sure what color piece we're looking for, so that's why it's taking so long, because a lot of the pieces I thought were black have been gray. So, but we're looking for a piece that will have... I actually think it might be accents. We're going to see. That's not it. It has four little dots on it. Are we having fun yet? Cody has a good answer. Miata is always the answer. Miata is always the answer to the question. Technically. Always. If you're not having fun yet, I apologize. Okay. Found the piece. This might be axles. Oop. Let's see. I glued the last one we built. Trust me, whereas my kids love to play Crash. Oh, we're not going to sit here and glue. It would take. This is already going to take how long? Who knows? How long have we been doing this? I don't even know. It doesn't even counter. It doesn't give me a counter. That's silly. Okay, so this is gonna go. I think the instructions aren't super clear. Nope, that's definitely not right. It's gonna go. I think like this. Okay, so now it goes like this. Not an axle. Just kidding. Definitely not an axle. So this is what we've built. I have no clue what this is. Look at the box. This is the mechanics desk. Funny. Okay. Moving on. Thanks for bearing with us. This is kind of fun, right? Why not? All right, so we need the wrench. Found that already. Got that. We need one. What I... See, here's the problem. I don't know if this is gray or black. This must be gray. I think that this is a gray piece. Nope, I think this is a clear piece. Hang on. I'm gonna find it. I think this is a gray piece. Or uh, a clear piece. I feel like this is supposed to be clear. Found it. Crystal. Uh, what else have we been talking about while I've been waiting? Look at the parts list that can help you compare our colors. That makes it so easy. Cereal breakfast soup? I don't understand the question. The cereal breakfast soup. New Compass seems to be majorly stepping on Cherokee toes regarding pricing in Canada. The Canadian pricing is so whack from what I can tell. It's, 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 I can't even talk about that. It's a designer's bench. Yep, got that. Uh, control, dyno system. <laughs> I wish it was dyno. Maybe a purple piece. It's clear. Daniel's here. Welcome. Glad to join, have you joining us. We need now a black piece. This piece is definitely black. I think. How do I know? Half of them have been gray. I think we're building the light right now, by the way, for the workbench. Okay. We're looking for a little piece that has two knobs, and then the end of it has this uh, ability to clip on this wrench. That's what we're looking for. I mean, not that you can help me, obviously. 
Isn't this fun? Clarence said, do you want a Lego kit? I said, yeah, sure. Didn't really think about it. Found it. Black. All right, so we're going to snap this together. Snap this on. Snap this on. Bam. There's that. Oh, and I lost it. Do you realize we haven't even built the car yet? We're building the accessories. This is crazy. All right, coffee mug, check. Coffee mug goes here. I saw this piece I just need right now. Here it is. I need a little light thing. Found it. This goes here. Actually, I think this is supposed to be a car. Oh, we're going to have to remove the coffee mug. Oh, chair. Goes on a little black piece. And this goes here, and voila. There we go. This is the workbench. Or something. Uh, what have you guys been saying? Daniel's here, Canadian pricing drives me crazy. Yeah, I've been. I've heard that before. We will rebuild. Never forget the McLaren disaster of June 14th. Jason Fetter's here. Brandon Dremel's here. Thanks for joining us, Jason, a cousin. Brandon's a friend. We're building McLaren, guys, on a Wednesday. So we, so far, to recap, we've built the little man, McLaren racer. We all decided we went with the helmet instead of the hair. And we've now built command center desk thing. Moving on. I'll put these aside. Uh, okay, now we're going to build the car. So here's what we're building. There's the finished product. We're nowhere near that. So let's start. Okay. So we're going to take this thing. Only McLaren toy would have this many accessories, right? Although I feel like the Ferrari stuff is even worse. I've seen the Ferrari stuff. Ferrari stuff is intense. All right, so blue. This is pretty much my favorite part of this whole thing, and the reason is because of blue. I got a thing for blue. So we're going to go like this, like this, boom. We're already on step 10, by the way. All right, got the chassis. We're flying through now. We're rocking. All right. We're right done with another page. We're on page 12. This is what we've got so far. Now we need a little square black piece. Actually, I think this is gray. This is gray. This goes here. We're putting a grill here. Oh, wait. Just kidding. Hold that thought. There's another piece we need. It's like a dual layer piece. It's got like two sides to it. I'll show it to you when I find it. Found it. So see how it's got like one side, two sides? Bradley Beckman's here. Thanks for joining, buddy. Ferrari would be a more reliable toy. Can we all just revel in the fact that someone just said a Ferrari would be more reliable than anything? Uh, all right. <laughs> Ferrari, reliable. It's Italian. It's a feature. There's two of these. Here's where we're going, by the way. I know you can't see me because if I put this on my desk, you see my desk, you can't see me. So we're doing this kind of... So these are what we're going on here. These are going on here. I'll lift it up a little. But would you want your kids to play with something that would spontaneously combust? Are you saying McLaren spontaneously combust or Ferraris? It haven't, it's been a while since a Ferrari's kind of exploded, hasn't it? I don't, I don't feel like that's been in the news lately. I feel like that's like two generations ago already. Is that silly that we're even saying this? Legos are completely toys, Wendy. They are toys. Adult toys. Um, a lot of hearts and likes going on here. Appreciate it. Ferrari, clearly. Yes, Ferraris did. We're known to spontaneously combust. All right, we got a round thing here. We need another seat thing here. We're going to put this in front of this. Show this to you in a second. 
this in front of this. Next step complete. Coming together. Jackie's here. Welcome. Thanks for joining. Just having a lovely little Wednesday, guys. Building a McLaren. Oh, we're starting all over on our next piece. So now we need an orange piece, apparently. And we need an orange square. We're going orange now. We're on to step orange, apparently. Oh, wait. Nope. Just kidding. A black piece first. Black. Another black. All right. I'm going to take these and stick them together. There we go. Ancient pharaohs used it as traps. Can you move the camera to see all the Legos? So here's the thing. If I see it, move the camera to see all the Legos, you're not going to see me. So that's why I'm holding it up. And welcome, Mark Sheridan. Thanks for joining us. Legos are adult toys. That's got to be a way to say it. Get your head out of the gutter, man. Legos are toys for adults. Better phrasing, maybe? Okay, so we got this, and I'll try and hold this up more so you can see what I'm doing because I can understand you want to see this. Um, trying to decide the color we're looking for here. I think that we're looking for clear, but it's not real clear what, it's not clear which colors we're looking for. Um, because I think these are clear that we're looking for, but it could be black. Hang on. We're going to go back and look. What did that one call for? What were the clear ones looking like? Stand by. No, these are black. Okay. One black, two black, and I need two little orange corners. This is what we're working on right here. Two little orange corners. That's what I'm looking for now. They look like little pizza slices. Here's one, here's two. Okay, we got them. I look like I'm watching tennis. I'm building Legos, man. What are you talking about? This is serious business, guys. We're building McLaren. Y'all aren't taking this seriously enough. Might also be the first time I've ever said y'all in my life. All right. Pieces slices go like this. Really not sure how this is going to work, by the way. Here's this. Now we're going to cover it, supposedly. This is what we just built. Serious business, guys. Legos. It's McLaren. All right, we need the orange square. It's going to go on top. Boom. Now we need a, two white L's. They're going to go like this. Whoops, that's not correct. There's one. There's two. What is that thing? Okay, so I was asking for a part I gotta find. Oh, found it. Alright, so now we're gonna go like this. Boom. Oh, and now we're gonna add this to the chassis we just built. How's that gonna work? Like this. Guys, it's really coming along. Mason's right. This is boosting my building skills, my motor skills, my brain activity. This is like employee development going on right now. It's basically like sending me to a seminar. Okay, so here we go. Page 18 of 54. It's a real page turner. Steering wheel's going in. All right, steering wheel. Let's make sure we put it in the right way. Wait a minute. I skipped a step. Something's not right. Hmm. So just so we're all clear on these steps, this is step 16. I'm about to be smart, but it's not very intuitive. Step 16, it looks like this, right? We all see this? Good talk. Step 17, it says all we're doing on step 17 is putting the steering wheel in. See how it says to put the steering wheel in? And suddenly, that white piece magically appeared out of nowhere. Like it says it's in the build list, but it doesn't tell you to put it in. That's confusing. But luckily, I'm smart. I have to do this. I can read between the lines with that. 
fine times. Bam! Steering wheel. In. Ooh, blue lights. Put these on. This could totally be a Seinfeld episode. It's the Fender Show. Boom. Blue lights. I have not driven a 720S yet. Um, but, good time. I have not, I have not driven a 720S. I'm about to drive a 720S. Mason. As soon as I get the wheels on this baby, I'm going for a test drive. Full road test. Alright, we need two black... I'm going to call them winglets, but they're not winglets. Winglets. All right, here we go. Winglets. Actually, they kind of are winglets. You think about what I'm about to do. Uh-oh. I've done something horribly wrong. Oh. Putting them on the right side is going to help. All right. One gray square. <laughs> Okay, this definitely says it's a gray square. I see... Oh! Got it. I've been building for 29 minutes. Is that a good thing or a bad thing? I can't decide if... Does that mean I'm going slow or does that mean I'm going fast? I don't, I don't know. It doesn't say on this thing how long it should take. Actually, does it? Oh, by the way... Totally an open pull tab right there, and I totally just destroyed this end. My dad would be proud. Actual size. Hey, it's right. It is actual size. Check that out. As advertised, it does not say how long I'm supposed to build this thing. Time management. How do you even budget for something like this now? I have, am I entertaining you? You're entertaining me. Thanks. All right, so now, got that done. Big, colossal things going in here. Oh, there's two of these. Actually, there's four of these. Here's dinging. Not sure what it's saying, because I'm watching all of you. Not bad. Okay, 29 minutes. We're not doing bad. We're rocking it. 19 out of 54 on pages, by the way, for you, those of you who are doing the updates. All right, how's this going to work? Oh, okay. So it's going to work like this. Show you what I've just done. Those are the front fenders. You know, it's kind of weird that it's not telling me how long. It tells me how many of you are here. Oh, there is a time timer. It's 38 minutes that I've been live technically. I wonder why I didn't see it before. It's big and red and flashing. It's not saying much about my noticing skills. All right, we need... Nope, not that one. This one... And this one. All right. Now these go right here. Now I got two little black pieces right there. Is there such thing as breakfast soup? I don't understand the question. You mean soup that's made to have for breakfast? What's your favorite car? Just name one. Come on, man. That's ridiculous. Too many cars drive a year? To name one? Mm. I have a short list. Then you start talking about new versus old. I mean, it's pretty hard. I don't have one favorite car. I don't. How do you? I, how can you have one favorite car? There's so many to choose from. All right. So here's where we're at. Now we need a black and a clear. Here's a clear, here's a clear. We need black. Here's a black, here's a black. All right, I put this down, put these together. So the clear snaps onto the top of the black. There's one. I'm not going to answer the question with just one favorite car because I can't. I'd be lying to you. Do we lie to you? I'd never lie to you. Ever. You're wrong. Okay, so we got. These things on, whatever that comes on. I don't have one favorite car. You have a favorite color. 
Blue. Blue. There's a 2017 Lexus GSF in my garage right now. Really like that car. It's unfortunate about the atrocious infotainment system, though. Like, seriously, it's bad. Easily one of the worst infotainment systems you can buy right now. Who thought putting a mouse in a moving car to control anything was a good idea? Because that person would be fired. Um, looking for an orange piece right now. Got it. So this goes in between what I just did. Oh, come on. It doesn't like the fit. Because I put these on wrong. Yeah, I go on the outside ones, not the inside ones. Amateur hour here, guys. Amateur hour. I'm telling you, I'm not a Lego master. But this has been fun. It's been real. All right. Cody. I'm not saying that. Because I don't know why you want me to say it. Mike, welcome. Thanks for joining us. All right. Mason, I don't think you're being ungrateful. No. German, sorry. The comments are coming in here quickly. I'm fast? I've been told I can get certain things done fast when I need to. Name a box of soap on four wheels. Nissan Sentra? All right, we're on to step 24 on page 22 out of 54. Decal time. Stand by. Gotta get decals. Taking this. Taking, nope, this. Where do our stickers go? There they are. We're taking the number 17. Crap. Where's that? Oh, just kidding. I'm not even gonna tell you how stupid that was. Wait. No, that's right. Okay. So I gotta put this. Oh, I gotta line it up all on my own. This is the best thing I've seen online all week. It's still early in the week. I liked the Lexus SC430, thank you. I liked that car. It didn't look awful. I liked the interior. Great sound system. Great sound system in that car. I like the Lexus SC430. I'm an old man sometimes. I'm glad I took the day off work and skipped the trip to the Getty. For this? Maybe we should do this more often. Alright. Have to get more Legos if we're going to do this more often. Maybe we won't do Legos next time. Maybe we'll do something else. I don't know. We'll come up with something fun. We'll get suggestions. I don't know. I'm not going to go buy Lego kits to do this. That'd be silly. I'm not going to ask automakers to send me a Lego kit every week because that might get a little ridiculous. Could be a fun series, though. How many Lego kits are there for cars? Again, I haven't built Legos in a long time. Um, I'm really glad I'm entertaining you, by the way. Almost entertaining myself. Here's one. Here's two. There's definitely a GT3 RS kit. I know there is. There was talk about a, uh, a new Ford GT coming along. Not sure what ever happened to that. Wendy would know. I think I did that right. Covering the headlights up a little. Alright, so now we got... Where are we going here? Black thing. Let's see if there's two of them. There's one. There's two. Coming along, guys. We are now on page 24, step 27 of 54 pages. Yeah, but did you build your Lego 911 at work? Because I'm sharing this experience with all of you right now. I could do this all alone in the dark in my off time at night. But instead, I chose to build this in front of you and share this experience. That was a little ridiculous, right? Two of these. This. This. Boom. And then 
Like we're doing the rear fenders now. All right. Basically bolt-ons, guys. Bolt-ons. Rear fenders, engage. Oh, wait. Oh, that was, yeah, guys. Okay. Now we need two different pieces. Hmm. Hmm. I'm not seeing the next piece I need. Here's one of them, but there's there's another. There's a a black thing. Oh, it's not black. That's why I didn't see. It. It's gray. I don't think this thing's gonna have stance. We could like slam it down. What did you do work today, Mike? Watch Joel Fetter build a Lego McLaren while looking up other Lego kits for him to build. <laughs> Tell you what, if you guys mail me more Lego kits, we could make a series. Maybe. Might be a good idea. But I don't think you guys should buy the Lego kits. We can figure something else out. It's like watching the show How It's Made. Can't look away. It's like train wreck. Literally like a train wreck. Just wait to see if I don't get this done before the kids wake up. Could be a train wreck. All right, we're moving on. Flipping the car over, guys. It's getting real. Oh, there's four of these pieces. One, two, three. Uh oh. Four. Thought I heard a noise. Didn't hear a noise. We could add music to this if that really would help. I, we're not adding music to this. Oops, oops. We're not doing that. All right, these are gonna go along the rails. Oh wait, I gotta do this on the front of the car. This is serious business. How do they expect kids to do this? What's the age on this thing? Seven to fourteen. Maybe a seven-year-old would do this. Fourteen-year-old could do this. Sorry, I only have a three-year-old and a one-year-old, so the idea that my three-year-old would do this is my mindset right now. All right, so we got the side rails going on. Uh, two black pieces. One, two. These are going in the back, what we just did. Coming along. And now on page 28, step 32. Ooh, there's a lot of pieces on this. We're building the underside. All right, let's just gather all the pieces first. One, Two, three, four, any of those? Two, five, six, two, four, six. <laughs> that was a dumb idea. I don't know why I did that. It's true, Cody. Most 14 year olds are way too cut. I don't even know if that's true anymore. Most 14 year olds are all like, hey, let's go text and Snapchat. And I was like, hey, at 14, I was like, let's go like ice skate and like go to the movies. I am that old. I feel old. I feel like one of those get off my lawn kind of moments, you know? Get off my lawn. Feels applicable. All right, so this is the front of the car. Little winglets. I am not, yeah, the vape thing I don't get. Kids these days, guys. Kids these days. Back in my day, snowstorms, uphill both ways. Kids. Something's wrong. Apparently, there's more than one piece that goes that way. Uh oh. I almost broke it. Uh oh. It's coming apart. Push too hard. Uh oh. We got a problem. Gotta fix this. <laughs> what do we got going on? Oh, yeah, now something else fell off. This thing's really just. Typical super. Ah, oh, I did it wrong. Supercar's already falling apart, guys. 
quality on this. Hey. I'm not clicking that YouTube link and playing music in the background. Fidget spinner, spinner is the dumbest thing I've ever seen. I like the WRX. I mean, the whole vape thing I get. Yeah, I gotta press hard. Good call. Alright, moving on. This thing's fragile. Two of these little things. Two of these little things. Next step. Put the back over. One. I have to do this so you can see. Two. I don't know what these are for yet. Hi, JJ. Okay, hang on. I didn't press hard enough on that. All right. Next step. Page 30, step 34, out of 54 pages for those keeping track. I think it's going to be a long, long time before a touchdown brings me again to find. I'm not the way to Thank you for seeing the lyrics there. All right. We need four pieces. One, two, three, four. All right. Put these babies on. One, two, three, four. By the way, if you find this entertaining, you should definitely share it and tell your friends to watch because why else would I be doing this? Come on. You should definitely share this with all your friends. Uh oh. I definitely did this wrong. Hang on. This doesn't look like the picture. I gotta redo this stuff. These aren't supposed to look like this. Whoops. Amateur hour. Much better. Arrow, baby. All about that arrow. Okay. Moving on. Sticker time! Stickers! We're back to stickers. Alright, we need this little guy and this little guy. They both need stickers. Sticker time. Alright, the big one gets number 14. Oh, the stickers are numbered. That's smart. Hello to your dog, Mason. Okay, this is going to get complicated, because if I don't line it up right, it's going to look stupid. Can it move? Well, not yet. It will move, but not yet. It will move, if I get this build right. Number seven. All right, let's do this. Sticker time. Oh, no. I didn't get it straight. We're going to redo it. Welcome, Mike Jurgens. Seriously, though, we're going to redo this. I didn't get this straight. Crap. Got it off. Let's try that again. Hang on, I'm gonna, I'm gonna do this down here so that I can get this as straight as possible and then I'll bring it back up because let's not do this eight times. I'm a little OCD. I might not be able to do this straight. Closer. Close-ish. 
Andy, welcome. Thanks for joining us. Kind of straight. Best I could do. It's not a hard percent It's amateur hour, remember. All right, number 14 is next. This is a big piece to get on here straight. Was an OCD. Wouldn't carry that much. Oh, nailed it. Damn. Okay, that one I did well. All right. So now this one goes on this side. I'll show you in a minute. And this, of course, this is the McLaren symbol. Ooh, this is totally amateur hour. Welcome to it. All right. That side's done, I think. How are we not doing the other side? Two more steps. Jeff, welcome. Glad you could get up today. Time is it there? Noon. Page 32 out of 54. Step 36. All right. We need a little orange thing. Got it. A little black thing. It's not as little though. This thing. All right. So this goes here. Like that. And then where my little orange thing go? Uh oh. There it is. Uh, little orange thing goes above this. Damn. It's really coming together, guys. Really coming together. Good teamwork. Alright. So this thing goes... That makes a lot of sense. Look at that. Alright. It's really starting to come together. Stickers again. Sticker time. Alright. I bet you I'm never going to get this straight again. We're going to try that. 57 minutes and we're not done. What's the time, Steely Dan? Steely Dan album or I should go? I'm big Steely. I like Steely Dan. That's not even close to straight. That's not even close. There you go. <gasps> I got it. Told you. Amateur hour. I got it. It's on the straight. Straight. Nailed it. Alright. Next sticker. Got a lot more stickers left, guys. Stickers are hard. A lot of Facebook alerts going on right now. Hopefully the world isn't crashing while I build a Lego. Straightish. Straightish. Moved a little now with my fingers, so now it's straight. Alright. So now this side. It's really difficult to do this so you can see it, by the way. Just so you know what I'm doing for you. Like that. Oh, oh. That's right. Alright, next. We're gonna basically just do what we just did on the other side. Shocking though. Right That's not gonna work. What did I do wrong? Hang on a second.
Got it. This is the angle I was going at. Alright. Black one here. Boom. Next page. The winglet. Great question by Jeff Howard. Do I have permission to play with their ch my children's toys? You don't know it came in the mail yesterday. Get the secret. This is going back here. Oh, I can see how the wing is going to be here. Good, good tip, Mike. Don't step on any stray Legos. It'll hurt. Probably, I remember that as a child, by the way. All right, we got the spin. We got one of these. Ugh, stickers. Number eighteen. Have to get straight again. I hate the stickers. This one goes. Nope. Nope. Is that one? You do the same thing now on the other side. That You're really coming along, guys. You're really coming along. I hope this is fun. Should be fun. It's supposed to be fun. It's very high stress over here. Are oh, you watching me make Legos? I made a mistake. I look dumb. Huh? Huh? It's close-ish. Close-ish. Page 40 out of 54. Step 44. Killing it. Man, it's been an hour. It's so much fun I didn't even know. Alright. Now we need this little guy. Who are these? Oh, stickers. Okay. Number 11. Oh, no. If I do this wrong, it's going to really look stupid. Alright, so number 11, go on the driver's side. Okay, this is not the right piece. It's too short. Longer pieces. Alright, let's do it. Number dice pick. It's eleven. Okay. All right. Stand by. Not bad. Not bad. Now we gotta do the thirteen. What are your thoughts on a 2013 Mustang GT besides the running into crowds? Hang on, I gotta concentrate. This is hard. I'll get back to you in a second. It's a good question. Alright. Uh, 13 Mustang GT. So, that had solid rear axle still. Um, I liked the update they did for that, that, that they had with the, I like taillights on that. And the headlights and all that. It had good tech inside. Uh, wasn't my Ford Touch in that, if I remember correctly. 
Manual transmission is better. The six speed, the, the automatic wasn't very good in that car. It's a little slushy and uh, comfortable. You can see well out of it. You sit high, um, good visibility. Um, I think they're fun. They make really good noises. Really good noises. That 5.0 makes good noises. Um, handling, look, for a solid rear axle, it did amazing things. And uh, it's the best it was going to get. It was the best they were going to get. Now, hang on. The, the boss was a little better. They did magic with the boss. Um, but for a Mustang with a solid rear axle, thir the last GT, that 13, was, was good. It was good. Sorry, I'm looking at the parts I need. All right, we need one black piece. One black piece like this. And then one this piece. All right, so this is going to go black piece. Wait a minute, what? Okay, the black piece goes here. Gray piece goes, hang on, you gotta put it together first. Like that. Oh! Now that, page 42 out of 54, step 46. We need this little guy, and I don't feel like this looks like a little guy. Aw, oh, stickers. I really don't like the sticker thing, I'm gonna be honest. It's hard. Kirk Bell joined. Thanks for joining, Kirk. Welcome. We're building Legos. Big stickers. It's hard. Oh. Got it straight. So this is the engine cover. Theoretical engine cover, of course. And so see that little thing right there? That's where this is going to slide into. Like a glove. Okay. Two little orange pieces. One and two. They're going next to the engine cover, apparently. This is going to tie that rear end into the front end. Could you imagine being the designer of this stuff? Who comes up with these? There's that. Now we need these two little guys. Two of these little guys. Alright, so this is going to go like this. This one's going to go like this. There's that. He's going to go in back, apparently. How are these not going to get sticky? Alright. 44 out of 54. Cranking. I had to mention stickers. Yeah, stickers again. Alright. Number nine and number eight. So we'll do number nine first. Have an stickers. All right, so we're gonna face this way. It's gonna go like this. Where are these gonna go? Next to the engine cover, of course. Ooh, that was pretty good. There's one. Number eight. Wait a minute. That's not right. Yeah, it is. Not bad. And you cover complete. All right, we need two little black ones. One clear one. Quite sure what that does. Okay. So this going like this. Huh. Okay, is that? 
We're going next to this. That one. This one. You guys got awfully quiet, you know. Did you share this with your friends? Get quiet. Like people are leaving. Are you bored? I'm building Legos here. How are you bored? Alright, two of the black pinks. One. Boom. Starting to look like a real car, guys. We should start talking about wheels, by the way. We got options. We're getting there. Okay, we need two of these. Two of these. Now what are we building? I don't know what we're building now. Okay, so we have two of these. We're taking a black one. Put it together. Show you in a second. I'm going to do that. I'm going to take these little black guys and put them on the side. There's that. Oh, stickers. Alright. Five and two. Five goes on the left. Yeah, I get this right. Hang on. I don't get the design right, so it looks stupid. Ugh. This is hard. That would be perfect. I, it was it was completely in the FedEx box when the video started. You were just late to the party, Jeff Houghton. I'm gonna redo this, by the way. Taking this off wasn't good enough. Yeah, people watching those other videos online. This is far more entertaining than like anything else. <sighs> All right. Uh oh, did I do that right? Yeah, I did it right. All right, I do this other one now. All right. Hey Noah, thanks for joining. Building Legos at work. All right, so we got this done. Do the orange thing now. It's going on the front. I think these are black. We're going to put those on there. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. We need two brass here, guys. There's that. Two of these now. Oh, hang on. These are going to go on to this, like that. And this is going to go on to here, like this. And then, like this. My dad would be so proud of me for following instructions right now. You guys don't even understand. More stickers. All right, sticker number three. Has McLaren on it. All right. Let's concentrate on this. Line it up. Nailed it. All right. Number one. Who's number one? Oh, we're building the bumper. This is the back bumper. Yeah, 
because they're awfully quiet. Your chatterboxes earlier. What happened? You just got popcorn going or something? You were talking about cars and whatever. Okay. This is done. This is the rear bumper and the lights. And the exhaust. That's a chatty cat. He's going on a group chat. Facebook messenger going on. Alright. The rear of the car. Oops. Alright. Moving on. Page 50 out of 54. Step 60. We need this guy. We need... I think this guy. We're gonna marry the two. Aww. Back of the car. Oh, that guy made it. Hang on a second. Oh. Yeah, right? So many stickers. So many stickers. I can't talk like Christopher Walken. This is the rear diffuser. Something isn't right here. This is sticking out too far. Hang on a second. I did something wrong. This doesn't look right. Look in the box. See, on the box. That rear diffuser is not sticking out past the bumper. It's under the bumper. But on the car, it's sticking out past the bumper. What have I done? What have I done? That is not right. Something's not right here. Feel like something's not right. It's good. Much better. Much better, I think. Oh, that was totally on me. That was on me. Guys, we're at the wheels. Okay. We're gonna need you to. Ch oh wait. Yeah, we're gonna need to make a choice. We're gonna need to make a choice. We're we going with. Hang on, let me make sure there's not two pieces that we're gonna actually put together. Hang on a second. Welcome, Lisa Claus. Oh no. I lied, you don't actually have a choice on wheels. Just kidding. What do I know? Amateur out over here. Alright. So we're gonna do four of these wheels. Four wheels. I'll show you what I'm doing, just hang on, I'm getting pieces. Four spindles. One, two, three, four. Four tires. Got them. Tires. What's a fish called without without an eye? I don't know. Blind fish. Welcome, Ron. Okay. Tires. Got them. Wheels. Got them. Okay. So now we're going to put the wheel in the tire. Put the wheel in the tire. I think these are directional tires. Uh, ish. Ish. Alright. So seriously, though, do you think these are directional tires? I don't. Bam. There's one. Oh, wait. It's supposed to go this way. I guess we're going down. Chatty Caddy's group Facebook chat. McLaren is a believing choice of wheels. They already know what's best. Look, man, if you were smart to be a McLaren engineer, you would know what's best. Show what you're building. These are just the wheels. I'm not building anything. I'm putting the wheels together. Hang on. Calm down. I'm showing everything. Here's what I've built so far. Just take a breath. 
We're showing you. Just putting the wheels together. All right, so now we're putting the spindles, axles, whatever you want to call them. One, two, three, four. Now we're putting in the wheels. Bam. Take it seriously. I know I'm doing a Facebook Live build. Ah, apologies, more detchy. Ah. Sorry if I butchered your name. Okay. All right. The wheels. Taylor, welcome. Thanks for joining us. I don't know what these are for. I feel like I shouldn't have leftover spare parts, but I do so far. So we'll see. Put these over here. Okay, I got to put the wheels on now. The nailing the wheels to the time. Then you thanks for joining. Welcome. There's no laughing aloud, Taylor. This is serious business. We are building McLaren. All right, got the wheels. Damn, starting to look like a car. Welcome, Holly. Is cool, isn't it? All right, guys. Page 52 out of 54. We're almost there. What a ride this has been. Okay. Going parts. So excited. All right. What is the mini coming? I don't know. Malcolm's joining. Thanks for joining, Malcolm. Uh oh. Uh oh. Somewhere along the line, I must have missed a step. Or they just didn't tell me to do this. Hang on. They so didn't tell me to do this, but I, I figured it out because I'm super smart. Oh no, we've come so far. Something isn't right. I've done something wrong. Ah, got it. So we're clear. He totally didn't tell me to put that little orange thing in. It just appeared in here. No one told me. Told me. Oh wait. Hang on. Ah, oh, Dad, we disappointed. I was doing so well following the directions. Somewhere along the way, a long, long time ago, I missed a step. That's disappointing. How far back. Okay, so we're clear. We're on page fifty. I missed a step on page twenty-two, which has affected this whole build. Details, guys. Details matter. It's all in the details. We're going back to page 52 now. 53. What am I missing? Hang on. 53 is done. Page 53. Okay. So apparently we're done. But here's the thing. Why do you know that was step 24? How do you know that I messed up with step 24? That's just creepy. Get out of here. Okay. So here's the thing. We're done. Awesome. But here's the thing. Why do I have all these leftover parts? No, but seriously, like, hang on. There's a lot of parts here left over. So either I've royally messed up, or they're just super generous. Who's that generous these days? Welcome, Valerie. These are all leftover parts. All of them. Whoa. No, I'm not gonna let the kids play with it. They'll break it in ten seconds. Mr. Barzelli is saying that there's always leftover parts. This seems like a lot of leftover parts. In case I lose them, there was a decent chance. Anyway, okay. Hang on. Let's put all these back in this guy. Hang on. I'm gonna keep these so I don't lose the spare parts. I don't know what I'm gonna do with them. Then I'm going to show you the completed project. Add lightness, guys. Track weight, add lightness. I used to build Legos. I had time. I had kids. Job. Um, life. Okay. Here's we go. We're done. Time. Was that like an hour and a half? 
Okay, here's what we built. McLaren 720S. For those just joining us, this box was closed and in this box earlier. So we've come a long way. We've done a lot of work here. This isn't like I just threw it together, you know? We even have a letter from McLaren saying whatever. So I'm dropping things now. Hang on. So we've built a McLaren 720S. We have also built a little racer dude. And last but not least, we built some kind of workstation, control station, something. Tell you what, you provide the Porsche 911 GT3 RS and we will build it live right here for your entertainment on another day. It's almost a promise. I don't know if it has a Honda motor. I don't know if it will crap the bed. Kind of cool. Look at, look at the dual exhaust. It's pretty guy. Pretty cool. It's pretty legit. It's almost like the real thing. Let me make sure this looks right. Not bad. Not bad. We, can we stop dwelling on the fact that I left, left out step 24 for a second? I figured it out, guys. I got every other step. This is a lot. I'm doing this live. You're all asking questions about cars. This is hard work. All right. So, in conclusion, the way our little sticker tool that I used, we have now stopped it. I don't know how many leftover pieces there are. This is how many leftover pieces there are. It's a decent amount. I built it right. Yeah. It has a flat front end in the picture too. See? Flat front end. Alright. We have built a car. We have built a McLaren workstation. And we have built a little guy. I'm going to move the camera down so you can see all this. All of my hard work. Ooh, ah. You see? All right. Join us next time and tune in for whatever the heck else we build next. Thanks for watching, guys.